sixth race, the second Hamiltonian elimination. Alan Donnan recovered amazingly well from hernia surgery and gets a cozy draw. Sandvik is one to fear if flat, and Trotter of the Year Cantab Hall reportedly healthy again after dehydration in the dancer. And they're off the outside four, trying to trot out of there. Castle fortunately as well. San Vic came away smoothly from mid-pack. Lantern's Law protecting rail position. Cantab Hall had to back off. He was caught a bit wide there entering the turn. Solomon Blue Chip slides up. He's fourth on the inside. Classical Man is going up. He's now fourth, moving up on the outside. Tracking him is Southwind Elian. Alan Donnan has come away seventh. Cantab Hall eighth on the outside. Coventry is racing in ninth. And at the back is Cincinnati Kid, who is the trailer. And San Vic went off stride the opening quarter up in 28 and 2 and classical man is driving on now for pierce and he's taking the lead castle of fortune back in second lantern's law racing in third solomon blue chip is fourth alan dunnan first up on the outside can tab all using his cover and south winnelian is fifth on the inside as they head down the back stretch coventry is third over on the outside at the back is cincinnati kid is racing in ninth and sandvik trying to get back into it as they head past the half mile marker in a comfortable 56 and two. So Pierce and Classical Man making the pace here. Lantern's Law will take a shot. First up for Trevor Ritchie on the outside. Castle of Fortune to his inside, now racing third. Solomon Blue Chip is second over, but gapping cover. Southwind Elian riding the rail in fifth. Alan Donnan is third over, and Cantab all fourth over. He begins to look three wide as they come to the three-quarter marker. Lantern's Law has moved around Classical Man and taken a clear lead here. Three-quarters and 125 and two, and it's Lantern's Law at the top of the stretch. Going off stride, Classical Man who went inside the pylons there. Alan Donnan is moving up. He's now racing in second. Solomon Blue Chip third. Ken Tab Hall closing in fourth on the outside. Lantern's Law leads it. Alan Donnan trying to track him down. Ken Tab Hall three lengths away on the outside. Campbell and Alan Donnan powering up to the lead. Lantern's Law is second. Ken Tab Hall closing. Alan Donnan from Lantern's Law. Can what a great story. Surgery three weeks ago and now one of the favorites for the Hamiltonian Trophy. Trainer Bob Stewart, conditioned sire Angus Hall, who now looks to do what Angus could not, and that's win the Hambo. Cantab Hall had a tough trip, had to take back early from post 10 and finish third off a fourth over trip. Sam. Alan Donna named after a castle in Scotland. A third of his earnings donated to the Conquest Boys Club, a Catholic youth organization, and John Campbell has a choice to make. I was very impressed with him last week. I thought that was a big effort for coming off the surgery, as you said, and uh, he came back with a big effort today, and you know, I think he's going in uh, as good a shape as he possibly can for next week. Top of the stretch, Trevor Ritchie, Lantern's Law got away. What were you thinking at that point? My horse still felt strong. I thought I could get him, but it took the whole stretch to do it. Uh, you know, but he, I did thought I think I had a chance him at the head of the stretch. We didn't get to ask you before, Cash Hall. How was he tonight? He raced good. Uh, just uh, Tom Ridge got the jump on us at the head of the stretch. We couldn't make up the ground, but I was very happy with his race. Too early for a John Campbell decision in the drive? Yeah, I'm just going to enjoy this day for now. Okay, John Campbell, Bob Stewart. Usually when you hear surgery the month before the Hamiltonian, that means you're watching the race, not in the race. Tell us what happened here. Well, um, actually it wasn't even a month ago. It was about three weeks ago. He, uh, he got colicky one morning after jogging, and uh, we just thought he had a stomach ache, but Steve Dye diagnosed him with a scrotal hernia. And uh, Patty Hogan did a very good job at, uh, over at her clinic, and uh, everything went very smooth after that, which it would have had to have done, and uh, we're just blessed to be here. And you, you went the route, right, with the stall walking and it was slowly bringing him back. Did you think at that point he can come back? Well, you know, I told my brother that, uh, that we were 50-50 and uh, everything just had to go perfect. And uh, he came back uh, and, and got to eating very well, very quickly. And uh, like I said, uh, you know, we're just lucky to be here. Still some seats available for Hamiltonian Wine Tasting Wednesday night at Pegasus. Give us a call for reservations.